This is a redemption story about a man who had to lose everything before he could find himself. To everyone who knew him, Andre Lepard was a minister and a professional counselor who spent his days serving God and his community. He was also a gay man living with HIV. Locked in a fierce struggle with his sexuality, Andre's faith was woven into his DNA. Andre dated women on and off, but after years of running from his gay life, he decided to date men exclusively. But the guilt was always there. It fueled his anxiety and depression. His HIV diagnosis in 2015 only made it worse. In 2016, the CDC recognized that people with an undetectable viral load for six months cannot pass HIV on through sex, even when condoms aren't used. Like millions of others, Andre's HIV could no longer be detected or spread. Modern antiretroviral therapy transformed HIV into a manageable chronic condition. In December of 2016, Andre met a man online, we'll call him Vic. They hit it off immediately, and for the first time in years, Andre was comfortable in his own skin. There was just one tiny elephant in the room, Andre's HIV status. This was the watershed moment in Andre's life. Two roads diverged, but unlike Frost's protagonist, Andre froze up. He did not disclose his HIV status to Vic. He wanted to, he knew he should, but even within the gay community, HIV stigma and discrimination are rampant. Many at-risk people aren't aware that successful treatment prevents transmission. Andre witnessed that discrimination firsthand. Months into their relationship, Vic started making derogatory comments about people with HIV. He even jokingly threatened to have Andre arrested if he was HIV positive. How could he tell him now? Right or wrong, Andre was in love and afraid of losing Vic. On February 11, 2017, Andre's 40th birthday, Vic found Andre's HIV medication. Andre tried to explain, but it was just too late. That was the end of their relationship. Two months after their separation, a detective called Andre to tell him he was under investigation for knowingly transmitting an STD, a class six felony. Vic had reported him. A bomb went off in Andre's brain. His thoughts drifted to suicide. He even bought a gun, but he couldn't do it. He knew he had to face this. On June 27, 2017, Andre was arrested. The Commonwealth of Virginia charges Andre Leapart with one count of sexual battery with the intent to transmit infection. After 15 days in jail, Andre was released on a $50,000 bond and placed on house arrest while awaiting trial. He was free, but the nonstop media coverage was worse than any sale. Andre never came out as gay nor disclosed his HIV status. Now everyone in Virginia knew Andre's career was over. He could forget the ministry. And it would be almost impossible to work in counseling now that he had been accused of a sex crime. Andre's trial was scheduled for December, but rather than fight a costly court battle, he pleaded no contest, amending his charges from a felony to a misdemeanor. The Commonwealth of Virginia finds Andre Leapard guilty of non-disclosure. The court suspends his sentence under the condition he exhibit good behavior for one year and have no contact with the victim. Andre didn't intend to harm anyone, but he should have disclosed. And for that, he is sorry. He was ashamed of who he was, and even more ashamed he couldn't admit it to others. He doesn't want anyone else to suffer the same fate because they're afraid of their HIV status. Today, Andre has nothing left except for his voice, which he's using to help end HIV criminalization, a practice that increases HIV stigma and drives up infection rates by discouraging testing. In 2019, Andre started Access Restoration Community Center, a nonprofit focused on improving the lives of those living with HIV through criminal justice reform, increased testing, education, and mental health counseling. On March 31st, the Virginia State Legislature passed a bill decriminalizing the misdemeanor of non-disclosure. Andre was a key advisor of this bill, and it was his testimony that was instrumental in overturning the discriminatory law that appended his life. Hopefully, this is just the beginning.
I'm Andre Leapart, and this is my HIV true story.